colourful, charismatic, and sometimes controversial. Max Mosley left an indelible mark on Formula One as both a team owner and as president of motor racing's governing body, the FIA. A relative latecomer to motor racing, Mosley's love affair with speed began while studying to become a barrister. He'd go on to race himself, even competing in the infamous Formula 2 race at Hockenheim, where the great Jim Clark tragically lost his life. Though his destiny lay outside the cockpit. In 1969, he co-founded the racing car manufacturer March Engineering, and within a year, the ambitious new constructor buoyed by Mosley's commercial nous was on the F1 grid, running as many as five cars. Unbelievably, in just their second World Championship race in Spain in 1970, Jackie Stewart made March a Grand Prix winner. The company would go on to sell hundreds of cars to customer teams in various formulae, with the Works F1 outfit winning two further races before the turn of the decade. But by that time, Mosley's focus was elsewhere. In 1974, with close friend Bernie Eccleston, then the owner of Brabham, and several other team bosses, he was instrumental in setting up the Formula One Teams Association to represent the commercial interests of the competitors. Mosley's path was now firmly on the political side of the sport, and at the end of 1977, he sold his shares in March and became a full-time legal consultant to FOCA, the F1 Constructors Association forming a fearsome alliance with Eccleston in the battle for the commercial rights to Formula One, a partnership that would shape the sport for decades to come. From 1993 to 2009, Mosley served as president of the FIA, and as Eccleston drove F1 to new commercial heights, Mosley simultaneously reshaped the sporting side. And never more so than in the aftermath of that dreadful weekend at Imola in 1994 where Roland Ratzenberger and Ayrton Senna tragically lost their lives. In spite of some opposition, Mosley unapologetically made safety his number one priority, leading to massive changes to car, driver and circuit safety, the legacy of which lives on today. And on the road, he was equally instrumental, promoting the Euro NCAP rating system for road cars, which has helped to save countless lives. Mosley's time in F1 was rarely dull. He was not immune to controversy and was rarely out of the spotlight. In 1997, he was front and center as Michael Schumacher was disqualified from the championship following his controversial class with Jacques Villeneuve at the season finale in Jerez. And in 2007, he handed out an eye-watering fine to McLaren in a row over intellectual property. But he was a giant in the sport's history, one of the most outspoken, colourful and intellectual men in motorsport, whose contribution to shaping modern Formula One cannot be overlooked. <laughs>